So this is the first in what I hope to be a long series of sound design tutorials and tips and techniques for helping you with synthesizers. Um, I was waiting until I got my new editing computer to do some more polished videos, but I got a request, so I'm just wired, hardwired into the camera right now, and this is just going to be one take. So um, I apologize now if the video is not so great. Um, the request that I had was about the System 1 with the core sound, the System 1 for voice polyphonic, to create a Juno-like string sound. So just an example here. Something like this. And the Juno has a very distinctive sound thanks to its course. Otherwise, it's a very, a very simple, um, just basic uh, signal path. Even only one envelope that's shared between the VCF and VCA. So it's not a complicated synth but all the richness pretty much comes from the chorus. That's what really makes it sound different. So obviously, the easiest thing to do would just be to send your System 1 through a Boss CE5 or similar chorus pedal. That would do a similar effect, but you can get stuff close to that just from the System 1 itself because it's such a much more advanced synth than the Juno. You can use the LFO and some other options in order to kind of fill in without having the chorus effect built in. So now I'm going to start that tutorial and um, just kind of walk you through all the settings here. So the most important part of this for, for a string sound, you want to select a saw wave. That's what, rec that's what most closely resembles a uh, violin or stringed instrument. So right now I just have the oscillator sustain up on both the envelopes, just going to hear saw wave coming through. Open up the filter, very bright, harsh. First thing that I usually do when I'm trying to emulate a sound from an old analog synth on this is just turn that tone knob down a little bit just to take off some of the brightness. Not too much, just down to like maybe 11 o'clock if that. And then so right now I'm just turning the cut off all the way down and I only have the one saw wave from oscillator one coming through and I have it at about um, 12 o'clock position. Um, it starts to dis distort and overdrive a bit if you go past that so I leave it usually around there unless I want the overdriven sound and for this we don't want that. So there it is with the filter down. Resonance is up about 9 o'clock or so, just below that, maybe 8.30. I'm going to set the envelope amount to um, about 3 o'clock. You hear the envelopes being applied now. Um, string sounds usually come in a little soft as the string is bowed and then uh, come in bright then back down again. So to imitate that bowing, I'm going to have a bit of attack on the filter envelope, then some decay, and I'll bring the sustain down to a little bit below half. Release up. Okay, now I'm going to do something similar with the amp envelope. Remember on the Juno that they're actually tied together. Um, so here you can create a bit more variety. I actually like to bring the attack a little bit down. So the volume comes up, but the filter doesn't open right away. So you can already hear it starting to get there. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit because now that the filter is going, it's hard to hear. There you go. Sorry, it's hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time. Um, if you want to brighten the sound, just keep opening up the filter. There you go. Maybe a little more filter envelope. 
There you go, it's going almost brassy now. So bring it down just a little bit. There you go. Now that's just the one oscillator. And the thing that the Juno does with the chorus is actually a delay effect. You hear the delay going there. Chorus is like having someone modulate the delay at the same time. But we can get, the reason for that is as you hear the pits going up and down, it makes a sound like there's more than one instrument being played at a time. And that's because the Juno only had one oscillator. But the System 1 has two. So again, set it to saw. And then, let's see, set them both. They're both at eight here. And then I'll turn that up. So already you can hear that it's a much more full sound. But you, we can go even in a, a step better and make it sound more rich and separate those two oscillator sounds a bit. And we do that here with the tuning. Just detune oscillator two just a little bit, not too much. And you hear that beating that the sound goes wow, 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 wow. Very similar to the chorus effect that you hear on this one, I let go. Let's see. one's actually a little bit slower so you can play with the tuning a little bit and try to make the the closer in tune the slower the beating sound will be there I think that's much closer now again we're not going to be able to get identical to the Juno without actually using a chorus effect, but this is simulating a similar sort of sound. Close that filter down a little. Oh, I still have the delay on, sorry. Again, here's without oscillator two. Very bland with oscillator two. Sorry, distorting a little bit there. I turned down my volume. And then, of course, there's even more stuff you can do here. One thing I like to do with strings is add just a little bit of pitch drift with the LFO. Just very subtle. Um, another thing too, if you want to try to fill this out, make it sound even more full, you have all the different waveforms here. So try switching the saw over to a super saw. A bit brighter and more full sounding. And I will add some color with that and use the LFO and I've got the LFO on triangle setting here so now you're going to hear the um, color affecting the super saw much brighter sound now than what was with the Juno. And then of course we have reverb and delay that we can add on to here. And this will just fill everything out for us. We have a nice lush string sound beyond the capabilities of even the Juno. And of course, 
Same with the Juno, if you want to fill it in a little more still, tune up the sub boss. Sorry about that distorting there. Got to adjust my volume. There you go, there you have it. Nice string pad on the System 1. Doing what the Juno can do, similar sounding, and then also taking it a step further. If you like this video, subscribe. I'm going to be having lots more coming soon, and hopefully they won't be so shaky and so kind of spur of the moment. And just, like I said, I'm just doing this one because of a request. The rest of them should be coming in August after I get my new editing computer.